Hey guys, it's Danielle, and today I'm doing my top five blue covers for Top 5 Wednesday. So I was going through my bookshelves looking for the blue books, and I thought I wasn't going to find very many, but then I started finding a ton. So I had to narrow it down, and then at the end of the video I have a couple of honorable mentions. So first up is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I absolutely loved this cover, and that's part of the reason I bought it in the first place, because I just, it's so shiny and metallic, and the color blue is like really, really nice. And I really like the font, too. And it's, you can't feel it, but it's like embossed. The font is embossed. I love this cover. And then they changed them for the second and third book. And I hate the new covers because it's the stereotypical like face, half face girl. And I just, I hate them. But I love this one so much that I'm going to keep this cover forever, even though they won't match on my shelves. But still, number five. At number four is A Million Sons by Beth Revis. This is another one that had the annoying cover change in the middle of the series. So the first two books are like this, and the third one really sucks. I hate the third one so much. But it's another one that I'm going to keep the original covers, even though they won't match, because I love these originals. So, but I love this. I love the stars and the color blue that's used. The different colors of blue, really. I just... I love this cover. I love the whole thing. It's all pretty. So, yeah. Number three is Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. I know a lot of people on booktube don't love this series, don't like it, but I haven't read them yet and my mom loved this series. But I never really looked really hard at the cover until today when I was looking for blue covers. And I just, I love all the trees. Can you guys see that? All the trees and the leaves and I never noticed the wolf down here so that's cool and I love the little tiny splash of red that kind of looks like a blood drop I I really love these covers so yeah number three coming in at number two is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green I mean I guess you could have seen this coming I love this cover I'm not usually a huge fan of like font based covers that have no pictures on them but I love this this totally works and I love that the blurbs on the front and like the New York Times bestselling author kind of works into the design because a lot of times on the front of covers of books they just kind of slapped on there and they don't really look like they fit at all but these do these really look like they're meant to be there so I really really love this cover this is my first and only John Green book so far and the reason I picked it up was really because of this cover first of all and because of all the hype around it so number two Coming in at number one, my favorite blue cover is Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Gear. I love these covers. Um, the books, they're okay. I like them. They're not great, and part of that's probably because they're translated from German. But I love these covers so much. All of them kind of look like this with the pretty like filigree around in the picture. They're all, you know, one color. This first, the first one is ruby red, so it's red. The third one is emerald green, so it's green. But this is such a pretty royal blue, sapphire blue. And I had the paperback in the second one for a long time, and I just finally replaced it with the hardcover. So now all of them match, and I love them. So pretty. This is my favorite blue cover. Okay, so that was my top five. Now I have a couple of honorable mentions just to show you real quick because I forgot that some of these were blue. First up is Mockingjay. Obviously I love this series. It's one of my favorite trilogies ever and I love how the first one and the second one, the black and the red, they're kind of like ominous and you know, go fight. And this one's such a pretty like sky blue that doesn't really fit what you think the story is, but it's kind of that triumphant hope something's gonna go well. Since the movie's coming out this fall, I had to mention Mockingjay because it's one of the most famous blue books. And last but not least, this beast of a book, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This entire cover is blue. Everything, except for that, but everything is blue. Some of the other Harry Potter covers, they have like a dominant color, like Deathly Hallows is all orange, but it still has other colors in it for Harry, you know, the robes and everything. This is all blue. So I had to include it 
because first of all, it's a Harry Potter book and it's blue. Second of all, I'm wearing a time turner today, so of course I had to include my Harry Potter book. Alright guys, that's it for today's Top 5 Wednesday. Hopefully I'll see you around with some more videos sometime. Bye! And even... Can you take me back in time? Can you?